every Skywalking buddy. This is part two of my Starfield full playthrough in 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. In the first video, we just did the introduction and we started the character creator, but we didn't finish it. So that's where we pick up here. And if you notice, I redid my character yet again. Uh, it, it's a little hard to get your character just the way you want it in the um, in this creator right here. So even if you don't get it right, you can still enhance your character later at certain facilities. So don't worry if you if you miss the mark the first time. So. This next screen is now the background where you select kind of a character archetype. So uh, the backstory of my character is that he's of Norwegian descent, except he grew up on the planet Voli Alpha in the city of Neon. And he, he grew up as an acrobat and a gymnast. Um, because there's like a big entertainment industry there. So he, he did that mainly in the entertainment uh, business. But now I have to kind of transition him into a, uh, into a background that's more fitting for this uh, story. So it could be bouncer, yeah, you know, because you, I've got bouncing, I've got <laughs> bouncing, boxing, security, and fitness um, to start with, and these are just starting skills. Um, you know, you'll be able to develop any skills you want later. But I noticed the cyberneticist has medicine, security, and lasers, and I think I will do that because uh, you know I could just say that he, he. Um, uh, pulled money together for college and then went to a university to uh, to study robotics. Okay, so I said that he was raised on in neon, so I'm going to give him the neon street rat trait. We have three traits to pick, and you only get one shot at this, so that's why it's fairly important to get this right. Um, and of course, that blocks out the Free Star Collective in the United Colonies because those are the three primary factions. I see this spaced. That's interesting. Alien DNA. This will give me increased health and oxygen. So I'm going to do that. And of course, um, uh, it pulls. It gives you a negative. So the detractor is. Uh, you have the food and medicine is less effective. And then I could be an extrovert. You know, because a gymnast and like a uh, acrobat is typically an extrovert. You could do the kids stuff where you get your parents. I don't really want the adoring fan, so maybe not here. And um, I could say that I was, uh, so my character is atheist, so I could say raised enlightened, but that doesn't really give you much of a benefit. You really want to pick a trait or a series of traits that give you benefits that you just can't get anywhere else. So how about uh, not terra firma because that's really just more of the same. Look at this, wanted. Um, often people will come and try to kill me, but then I do, when my health is low, I do extra damage. And that's true all the time, not just when I'm being attacked by uh, these uh, bounty hunters. So let's do that. I'm a uh, wanted neon street rat with alien DNA. So now this is a pretty important part. It's the very last step. You have to create your name. And Vasco will be able to greet you with a list of about a thousand names. But the one that I'm picking is a Norwegian name. It's Sondra, and then his last name is Tromsø. So <laughs> even though Vasco won't know what that is, uh, that's my name. And uh, there's a couple of other options here too. Once you hit enter, you can change your pronoun if you want. I'm going to leave it like that. And um, you on confirm. On like this, we all figured you must be on the run from some mega call. You're lucky we don't ask too many questions. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way, then we all get paid. You remember anything that happened? All right, now, so this is our first uh, dialogue options. So typically you'll have three or four options uh, in a lot of cases. And if you don't know what to take, just take the top huh. one. Well, you passed out, that's for sure. Everything else, probably just your brain playing tricks. Either way, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. 
Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. Hmm. Okay, now this is the perfect time to save for the first time. So that's what we're going to do. All right, let's do this. Now, before we head outside with them, let's just listen to their conversation. But then we're going to explore this a area a little bit. Contact is on approach. Wait, the explorers group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. <laughs> Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Uh -huh. Aha! Constellation. There's your first hint that yeah. something's wrong with Earth. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. I think that's the end of their conversation. Now, by the way, uh, it's giving you a cue to learn how to switch uh, uh, first person and third. This is first, this is third short, and then this is third long. There's only three options this time, and then back to first. Okay, before we follow them outside, now let's explore this area. Um, you're going to see a little bit of choppiness, especially right around here. It's because the game is poorly optimized, sure so like I can't really do a whole lot about that. Being the boss and all. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's start by looting the cutter. Uh, there's a supervisor's log. That's uh, from Supervisor Lin. Well listen to that in just a moment but i wanted to show you the importance of exploring and looting early on like look this is worth 655 you take it you take it then you can turn around and sell it and you're going to have to do that um, quite a bit in the beginning of the game um for example this is a good uh yeah these this is good loot here because it's worth quite a bit and it's it doesn't weigh much <laughs> there's a there's a rack a squat rack i love that Okay, and then there's uh, some stuff over here if you want. If you like um, darts, you can take the darts and sell them. See, you can pretty much loot anything you want. Uh, and another interesting thing is that you can pick up items without taking them. See, you can do this and then hold it in your hand. You can even rotate it. Uh, this was also something you could do in all the previous Bethesda games. Okay, here's a lemon. Let's take that. Okay, now that we are, I showed you that, uh, let's uh, listen to Supervisor's Log, and I'll do some looting while we're listening to this. So you, you can listen to it even outside of the menu. Claim ID beta seven five four eight alpha. I'm busy. As far as anyone knows, right there. this is just what another aura. <laughs> the terrorists got enough mid-level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I think we'll be done I here soon. I told Hella everything he needs to know. I hear this is the last day. Hey, that was my Barrett's sandwich. Special orders. <laughs> <laughs> he made good with the payments for Kazar, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. I think she's Please done. Please. Nope, Give she's still talking. I think we're going to find something. Yeah, grab the circuit board, board, grab the zero wire. I'm going to explain all of that a little bit later. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. Hmm. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully between Wow, this Barrett's is a long log, isn't it? And the grab it. We'll be done with this rock in five days. I'll show you that in a second. Supposed to come back for extraction. Hmm. Okay, that was the end of that log. I think there's another log here, and I'm going to show you that in a second. Uh, but you see this? This is absolutely critical. You have to start searching for these emergency first aid packs and then grab the med packs and any other drugs that's inside those. Uh, that's very, very important. Um, now, by the way, you can open this if you want. All this does, this goes back to where you started goes back into the mine and there's no reason to go back into the mine but you can always look in here and grab some loot there you know those are um box cutters what's this a steel bottle yeah there's just nothing but uh general junk back here so it's not really worth going back there but uh in the middle here aha now watch this uh this is cute and you'll see this a lot in the game nice little scripted easter eggs like this 
So this is a more like a, yeah, it's a text log. It's not a uh, voice log. Oh, sure. Just take my stuff. All yours. <laughs> hey, okay. If you, if you say so. All right. So uh, also you can loot lockers. So run. loot them. Loot Left everything. Out being picked up for this one. Open everything. Loot everything. Um, I'm going to loot the more important things like Space Undersea. You can sell that for a lot of money. Now, when I'm not showing you, um, when I'm not recording, I do loot everything. Because over time, that will help you amass credits, which helps you to buy things a little bit easier. Okay, now we're in a kind of like a locker room. That first aid wow. Seminar to work on you, huh? Okay, I'll show you what's in here really quick. Yeah, see, so these... Uh, Isocentered magnets, that's kind of important. And why not? You know, uh, you don't have anything to eat, so you might as well grab some stuff to eat, especially if you don't have it. Uh, space undersuit, sure. Cheddar snack crackers, see, that's something to eat. And uh, you can't see that, but that's a dish rag. And there's something over here, or maybe not. Um, I'm just checking. Aha, there's another first aid uh, kit with a med pack inside. So that we already have two med packs now. That's good, see? Uh, I don't see any other drugs here. You can steal his slippers if you really want to. Um, this is a shower area. There's stuff too. Oh, it's an injector. Uh, that is a, another type of You got med. a few more digs to go before I feel mm -hmm. like talking to you. Oh, really? Okay, and then uh, check that out really quick. Nothing to see there. There's more lockers. Yeah, always tons to loot in a lot of areas, and I, th I think it's worth it. It's actually fun to look and see what loot is available. There, we just got some granola there. Okay, not a whole lot going on here. So, uh, this is a deep mining space. Look how, it, look how valuable it is. That's why you loot things early on. Uh, this is not as valuable, so let's get out of here. Um, I think I've shown you everything. Uh... No, actually, I haven't shown you this other auxiliary area. Let's just look through here really quick. Um, I was trying to get through my shift. No, oh, okay. Uh, don't see anything here, but there is a supervisor's log one. Let's listen to it. Supervisor's log. Let's listen. Day two of August extractors victory. See, you can follow along in the text if you want. Claim ID beta seven five four eight alpha. Mm -hmm. Argonauts usually ain't so good at picking sites. New record for us. Oh, this time, hours, including like a the miracle. Elevator. The prefabs are starting to show their age, though. Time to rebudget for new equipment. Again. Mm -hmm. The crew is good. Spirits are high enough. Hella is a pain in my ass, as That's always. him. And completely indispensable. It's the thing. The problem is, I love him. And he knows it. Aha, I think she has a thing for Heller. I'm pretty no, sure she likes him. You just can't train away stupid. <laughs> she's got a daughter on Mars or someplace and needs the cred, so she gets one more chance. If she does wash out in the end, in okay? we've still got the dusty. Mining crews ain't the and there's definitely some promise there. Hmm. Okay, so this is, um, I've shown you everything in here. Now we're ready to step out onto the surface of Vectera, and that's the planet that we're currently on. All right, now we are going to head out, but right after we step outside, we're going to have to end. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. All right. So our mission that we're currently on is one small step. It wants us to equip a helmet, so let's do that. Uh, still not too happy with how my character looks it's a little better but still not the, exactly what I want okay that's how you equip a helmet and um, now it shows that we have a helmet on all right let's do it she opens the airlock for us and notice there's no loading screen here it's because it was rendering the planet the whole time that's why we're getting a performance drop inside Wow Vectera <laughs> A little bit of choppiness, but I think it's performing fairly well. So this is supposed to be your first step out moment, but honestly, it's not all that impressive for a step out moment. But it does show that um, it does entice you to explore because the whole planet is explorable, even Bactera. Wow, that is really loud.
Yeah, so that's Barrett. We already knew that Barrett was arriving here. Um, and now we meet with a client whose name is Barrett. Now, there's, I'm going to show you everything about this area um, in the next video because there's also um, still a little bit more to the introduction. But um, like I said, grab as many med packs as you can find right there. And it also gives us a, um, yeah, a little pistol that takes these uh, bullets. Well, that's all for part two. Look for part three uh, very shortly. So if you like this video and if you like this series so far, then make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so you get alerts every time I upload something. All right, we'll see you next time on Vectera. Thanks for watching.